morning. Welcome to the Encouraging Keystone Devotion. It is time to get right back into our eight sign post of following Jesus or eight sign post of a disciple. These are the eight things that we've been talking about over the last course of the few of these videos that would be present if you're a follower of Jesus. And so um, we're going to continue on with number four. Uh, number four, the fourth one in this series is sharing Christ. If you are a follower of Jesus, you should be willing to share Christ. That is that is just at the heart of what it means to be a follower of Jesus. So in other words, it's not that you can define sharing or define following Jesus by sharing Christ, but that if you are following Jesus, it is absolutely going to be something that you're going to want to share. You've been to good restaurants and you've wanted to share about that restaurant. You've experienced great products and you've wanted to share about that. You're passionate about those things. But let me ask you a question today, today, at some point in your day, maybe it's at the checkout, maybe it's it's um, uh, at the the, I, I don't know, the water cooler at work. I know that's not a real thing, but you get the, the idea. Somewhere in some place at work or at school or whatever it may be, um, if you're really living the way that you're supposed to, someone is going to possibly say to you, you know, there's something different about you, and I'm curious about that. How would you answer them in that moment? Many of us would be caught back, and we would... We would um, we would be kind of off balance, and and I don't know that we've thought through that question. And maybe the reason that we don't get that question is, first of all, maybe because our lives aren't really that appealing to anybody else to um, notice anything. But another one may be that we didn't get those opportunities because we're not really prepared for those opportunities, and those are pretty tender moments. So, don't you want to be ready for that? I am going to read to you from First Peter. Uh, chapter 3 in verse 15, it says, But in your hearts honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you, yet do it with gentleness and respect. I like that he added that last little bit because it's 2021 and uh, the, 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 the days that we have experienced, the political climates that we have experienced, um, the ideal differences that we tend to have in our interactions with people all the time are a lot more polar than they used to be. In fact, um, to disagree with someone is to think that the other person is stupid and it's tough to disagree with people. And so sharp in the way that we talk to each other or the way that we say things. And uh, that doesn't always work in the gospel of humility, the gospel that we've been called to. So I, I want to challenge you today. I want to challenge you with starting your day right now with, if I get that opportunity to God, here's what I'm going to say. How would you answer that person that comes up to you today and says, you know what? I really want to know what's different in your life. Why do you smile? Why do you have hope? Why in the world do you waste your weekend by going to church? Those are all great questions and great opportunities, and we should be prepared for them. So I'm going to pray for you today. I'm going to pray that God gives you the opportunity to be able to accomplish the things that are really, really important in following him. And one of those signposts is you're a person that shares Christ. So let's pray together. God, open doors for us, please, today. For me personally, God, I pray that today is the day that you ordain in some way a opportunity, a conversation that is needed to be able to discuss what it is that I should be sharing. God, may it not be something that's personal to me, that's kept inside, that is private, but rather something that I am willing and open to share with other people. So God, make conversations in the direction that allows me to share. Help me to look with eyes like you look for opportunities to share. And then when it's all done, we'll give you the glory and the praise. We love you. It's your name we pray. Amen.